How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Series 22 update has just been fully announced and in this video we're gonna sh I'm going to show you everything you need to know. All the new cars, the new car pack, features, just everything. Let's jump straight into it. We'll start off with the festival playlist and the new cars within that. There are some other new cars in the update as well in other features. We'll talk about that after. So for the full series for 80 points you can get the Pagani Huayra BC and for 160 points the first new car, the Nissan Z Formula Drift from Chris Forsberg. This was already confirmed a few days ago. We have a bit of gameplay of it here. We already know about that. Let's move on to the first week, which is summer. For 20 points, you can get the next new car, the AMG GT Black Series, which I'm very excited to see in the game. And then for 40 points, the Lincoln Co. I believe the AMG GT Black Series is quite high up on the top voted cars on the suggestions hub, so it's good to see that they've listened and added that. The Forzathon shop for the first week has stuff like the Aston Martin Vulcan AMR, the Lexus LFA, the Raw Emote and a Donut Media Black Hoodie. Here's some, here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Autumn, which is the second week, for 20 points you can get the second new car of the festival playlist, the GMC Cyclone, and then for 40 points the HDT VK Commodore. The Forsython shop has stuff like the Urban Rebel Cupra, Porsche 911 GT3 RS, Spiral Mountain Part 1 Horn, and the Donut Media White Relaxed T. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week. Third week, which is winter. For 20 points, you can get the next new car, the GMC Typhoon, and for 40 points, the Porsche 911 from 1990. The Forzathon shop has the Koenigsegg Jesco, the Holden Torana A9X, the Donut Media Yellow Jumper, and the Karate Emote. Here are the rest of the challenges available that third week. Spring, which is the final week, you can get the fifth new car for 20 points, the Mercedes SL65. And then for 40 points, the Eagle Speedster. The Forzathon shop on the last week will have the Lotus Avaya, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, Spiral Mountain Part 2 car horn, and the Purple Relaxed T. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth week. If you find these videos helpful guys and informative make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything like this any leaks any news information about updates make sure to subscribe let's now talk about the new car pack which is called the horizon racing card back which is a paid dlc releasing part of this update there are four new to forza cars in there and i believe it will cost five dollars so it's quite a cheap car pack the cars that are going to be in this car pack are the following we have the Pagani Huayra R, which I do have some gameplay of. We have the Lotus Emira, Emira, I think it is, from 2023. I don't have any gameplay of this, but we can see what it is on screen. This was spotted in the Donut Media trailer, leaked a couple of days ago. We have the 2021 Forsberg Racing Nissan Ultimaniac. Again, I don't know if that's how that's pronounced. And then the 2020 Celine Sport Truck XR Black Label. So to be honest, those are four pretty cool cars that are very exclusive, very rare, all part of this new car pack and all new to Forza. I have no complaint to the car pack like that. Yes, we've got to pay for it, but that's some four pretty damn cool cars. Let me know what your opinions are on this in the comment section below. Now, the Donut Media Horizon story, as you are aware, has been added to the game as well. Now, we have more specifics on how the chapters work. It will be set into two unique paths for six chapters each. So there is the low story path, for six chapters and then the high story path for six chapters and i guess the extra chapter the 13th one is the first introductory one now there are four cars to unlock within the horizon story we have the two nissan 350z the high and the low 350z from donut media themselves this will be achievable com for completing all of the chapters in the story will get both the high and the low 350z to our garage if you complete the donut delivery story 
chapter, you will get the 1994 Ford Supervan 3 Donut Media Edition. Quite an interesting one there. I didn't expect that to come, but yeah, it's still a new car nonetheless. And then if you complete the bumper to bumper story chapter, you will get the 1996 Formula Drift Donut Media Nissan 240SX. This was spotted in the thumbnail for the Forza Monthly Livestream a couple of days ago, as you can see. So those are the four cars achievable through the Donut Media story, and those are the last new four cars of the entire update. So we've got four cars in the car pack, four cars in the Donut Media story, that's eight, plus five in the Horizon in the Festival playlist, that is 13 new cars in total in this update. Pretty good. One thing I have noticed though, there's no signs of the high truck and the low truck that we were promised by the Donut Media guys. Maybe that didn't turn out to be possible. The money pit cars also doesn't, don't turn out to be in the game. So the only thing we've got from Donut Media are the high and the low 350Zs and the Formula Drift 240SX. Not too bad. It's good enough, I suppose. There are some new accolades to do with the story as well. I will scroll through them here very quickly, all Donut Media story related. There is a new thing called the Horizon Test Track as well. This is where it says that the Test Track was first introduced in part one of Donut Media. Now it is returning without car restrictions where you can tune your car and test drive it in real time on the track. The Horizon Test Track can be accessed through the Horizon Festival in Mexico through its map icon. It can be also be played alongside your friends up to 12 in a convoy. So you'll be able to go on this test track and upgrade your car with your friends as well, which is really cool to see. I've got a bit of gameplay on that on screen, which I will be rolling as I'm talking. There are some new accolades all to do with this test track as well. Do certain things, spend certain amount of credits, drive certain amount of things, and you'll get rewards from the accolades all to do with the test track now there are also some new badges to do with the test track as well as we can see on screen um, five in total i think keeping track track record just keep driving 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 break the piggy bank and tinker taylor car tuner five new badges available to get over on the test track there's some new car customization which are some car rims as we expected we have a list of all of the new ones here now these match up pretty well to the ones that were leaked last week if you watched that video um, here's a screenshot of the leak here these have transformed quite nicely to be the ones that have been added to the game again here's the list here so new car customization rims really cool Last but not least, we have the noted bug fixes. Now, there are a lot more bug fixes in this update, but these are the only ones that they have sort of noted and highlighted to us. Here they are here. Nothing that really stands out. They have fixed the engine sound for the standard 350Z, which I think quite a lot of people complained about, so that's cool to see. And there's some other stuff as well. Pause if you want to read. That is everything for Series 22, guys. Let me know what you like the most, and I'll see you all later.